Well, hello again, my friends. Long time no seen. Anatoly here from Define Agile. We're discovering the world of Agile together. And today we're talking about the topic that is a big one. Most of people are confused by it. Most people are asking lots of questions about it. And it's sort of the first stepping stone into the Agile methodology and to the Agile world. Which is what the actual difference between Waterfall, which is a weird name for traditional delivery of software, delivery of project, to Agile, Agile delivery of software and of projects as well. I'm going to cover this today, I'm going to give you a couple examples where they differ so you can make an educated decision next time. And yeah, let's just do it right away. So if you look at the difference between Agile and Waterfall on a very high level, it will be like that. Waterfall is like a project that you have a contract to deliver. You say, I'm going to deliver the whole project by this date. So you do, you go through stages of your project and in the end you deliver the whole project to your client. You know the scope, you know the funding in advance, the project is very well defined. Agile, on the other end, is iterative based. It's you deliver a little bit of value, test it, see how it works, It'll deliver more value, see how it works. And scope might not have been defined, and funding might not have been defined. You even don't know if it's gonna succeed or not. You're just testing stuff out until you figure out what definitely works. And basic stuff on data, you pivot any way you want. So this is a very high level overview in like that one minute what's the difference between the two. Now let's go in a little bit of detail and look at different categories and how they stack to each other. So first is the scope. What is the difference between scope in Agile and scope in Waterfall? So scope in Waterfall is, as I said, very well defined. You have a contract of work that you need to do. You know exactly the whole scope from start to the end. In Agile, you know the scope of the first iteration or several iterations ahead, you have some vision, but you don't know if you're gonna implement it in a certain way because you iterate and base things on data. Again, I'm talking about true agile. Some companies, they do waterfall where they have the whole scope in and then they do it in iterations. They think they're doing agile, but essentially they're just doing waterfall with a little bit of agile flavor. So it's important to note that in Agile, you iterate, you deliver some piece of work, then you see, you talk to your clients, see if it works or not, and then you maneuver anywhere, any way you want. The next one will be funding. Funding is very important for every project. In the waterfall, funding and budgeting should be done right up front, so you know exactly have money for that, you know when the money is coming, you know how much money you need to spend. You probably have some buffers for sure that can go more than you expect and stuff like that, but essentially you're doing your budgeting right away. In Agile, your funding might be for a certain iteration and then you'll see if you have enough uh, traction with your product, you may put more funding. And then since the end scope is not defined, it can the funding can be as big or as little as you want it to be or as the market receives your product. So it is good and bad, because oftentimes when people do this Agile approach, they run out of funds because they don't think ahead. In a Waterfall, the project can go a long time past their due date and then the funding can end as well. But uh, sort of less risk in Waterfall than Agile, because at least we know the whole scope and then we can plan a little bit ahead. Well, I think the last important thing, the difference, big difference is how you interact with your clients, with your customers. In a waterfall, you interact with your clients to start, you sort of plan everything with them and then you might have some touch points to see if we are on track to deliver this contract of work that we decided right away. There should not be any surprises with a client. If stuff changes, there might be little tweaks, but they need to change all that funding and you need to change the scope and stuff like that. So it's a big work if any change is happening. Uh, in Agile, in Agile you constantly talk to your clients. You deliver a little, a little piece of work, client look at it, if they like it, 
then you move on. If they don't like it, you want to pivot or you want to end the project altogether, but you're constantly talking to your client, giving feedback. That is why a lot of clients uh, ask teams to move to Agile because they want to have a full control where the project goes. They want to see how market perceives the product before they make next steps. They want to, they want to release minimal viable product. If you know, uh, if you read Lean Startup, it's all about uh, minimum viable product and uh, Agile is really good for that because you can do cert certain iterations, deliver a little piece of work, see how it works, deliver more, deliver more, and in the end you have the vision that you envision. Or if it didn't work, you cancel a project and you spend certain amount of funds, but at least its decisions are all made by clients. Well, this is my quick rant on Agile versus Waterfall. I look forward to your comments or you see how you guys are gonna say. Anatoly, you missed so much, but it was just for a high level overview of those two, just to get your feet wet and uh, uh, deciding which one to choose. I hope you love it and I hope I brought you value today. I appreciate you watching all of those videos. I'm losing one video per week, so please subscribe to this channel because a lot of more things like this is coming. and. And you will definitely benefit from this. So this was Anatoly from Define Agile and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.